Hi folks, my name is Nisi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are going to get into an IU song. IU has new music dropping. Now I'm just plowing through old music because new music dropping means concert coming soon, means I need to make sure that I can sing along to everything. So I wanna check out another music video that I have not seen. There's actually not too many left. I only have a few left, so we're plowing through them. Let us get into epilogue. Oh, she's smoking. Smoke is coming right out of her mouth. Okay, setting the scene. Where are we, honey? Mmm. Mmm. Even the haziness of like the record sounds like it's a vinyl. The sound sounds like a vinyl sound playing, record playing. Gives it that hazy feeling musically along with this hazy visual we have with the, the smoke. It's cool. It's just tripping me out how small this box is. It's got to expand at some point, right? I mean, it could be opium. She's literally seeing hearts in her smoke. Legitimately, it could be opium in the music video. So interesting how MIDI, this MIDI-ish sound has, people have used it in so many ways that it sounds so dreamy now. It used to sound, I mean, it still does in many sense, senses, sound to me like old school video game music. But as time goes on, it sounds so much more ethereal, which I find funny. It's like come a long way in my brain middies and how they're used. Mm, oh, there's no, no caption, so I don't know what she's saying. Okay, we'll go, we'll find those. We will find those. Very dreamy. I guess that matches with video games and fantasy. Mm. Wow. Everything sounds like it's through a filter, guys which totally fits with this haziness. Mm, you're making me feel drugged up the way you're moving, girl. Mm. This feels like a happy ending, actually. Love this jazzy feel. Cool. Oh my gosh. Very Lucy Gray of you right now. Such a cool epilogue. I love outros and things like this. Oh, I'm floating. I feel like I'm floating. Wow. What is she saying? Okay, I just want to know what this says. I mean, it looks like epi, epilog. It just says, ep it just says epilog. <laughs> okay, I want to know what this says. I'm going to translate it. No, just read it. You see, just read it. Um, okay. Lyrics. Get some numbers. Yeah, tell me how you close the story, Ayu. I have a feeling you are you are closing something for us. I feel it. So I want to know. Thank you, Limo Ring, for the lyrics. Keep on the tree. 
Was it good to know me? Okay, bittersweet. You don't ask someone, was it good to know me if it's not past? Was. It says, was it? Was it? It's past tense. So bittersweet in the sense that clearly you guys have parted. So this feeling of longing is definitely coming from this memory, thinking about this person. I wonder if the old songs you sang for us are still comforting. So the things that we used to love when we were together, do they still bring you the comfort that they brought when we were with each other? basically even though it's over if it was worth it if it's if you still look back on it fondly it's worth it it was worth it for me that's enough to make my life nodding to make me satisfied Yeah, it's nowhere to be found. I, I thinking about this with loved ones all actually because I felt like the message of that story, especially with the the visual story that they told, for me was that even when we're gone, love wins. It still lasts even after we're gone. It's still lingering and left behind. That power created from two people created from nothing, from the coming together of two people creates this energy that pervades through the universe. Even after those people are gone, I feel very similar when I look back at this lyrics. It's nowhere to be found, right? So maybe we're not in love anymore. We're not together. That love is not there, but it's still everywhere. That's how I interpret it. It's gone and yet it's still everywhere. The positive part of that love, I believe, still lives on. I love this choice. It's so different. This warbling voice. In a, in a lost relationship. I was gonna say, she's, she, I literally feel like sometimes she reads my soul and my heart. I was gonna say, proud of a, of a failed relationship is such an awkward and such a weird thing to ask about. And then she just comes right out and says it. It's an awkward, that's an awkward question. I found it really, it's like this, her lyrics are just refreshing for that way. She puts things in ways that I feel like I feel, but I would never be able to verbalize and actually say it. And then, of course, it sounds so poetic. My brain would never be able to come up with something so beautiful. But I do have these types of thoughts of a relationship that's failed, especially failed relationships, which not all relationships that end are failures. I'm talking about the ones that you really look back and you're like, oh, that was, that was a tanked, tanked relationship. That was shit from the start. At what point in life, though, can you still feel proud of something in that relationship? And obviously it's easier, the better the relationship was and the better that you part, it's easier to find that pride. You're so proud sometimes when you find a partner that you care about. You're so proud sometimes of your relationship when you feel like you're doing things the right way and you're being healthy and successful and supporting your partner and you're getting that back. What point do you still feel proud of having been together? What a beautiful question, but what a weird question.
I don't know if the memories still make you laugh a little bit. Just again, just it's just all questioning about do you look fondly back on that? I think she feels that if you do, that's all that I need. They can reinforce to each other that it was not a failure in the fact that they didn't succeed in their love. There's something to still be proud of that they have loved and then lost each other. This epilogue is saying a lot for being a epilogue. We'll see each other again. Oh. I'm hoping you say yes to all these awkward questions. I was hoping you would make me, I was hoping would make me emotional. Oh, that's the, that's great, the end. I don't have any questions in my mind. Yeah, like I said, I think she's she's good with their relationship. If we're meant to be, we'll we'll find each other again. sleep without any lingering. She's telling us she's not worrying. I love that. It's like they've parted as friends. I'll come to tell you what I dreamed. You're going to listen, right? The hope of parting as friends. Our strums. That was I use epilogue. But now I'm interested to go back to the album and kind of see what emotions and feelings and thoughts were put into the album before this epilogue to see if I can see the connection between sort of what she's summarizing and how she's leaving off. But again, the feeling of this epilogue feels very at peace. Like that is the feeling I get. She is at peace. All that she hopes is that the other person is also at peace. And if they happen to meet again, should they fall in love at some point in the future, what will be will be. Like she's okay with that and happy doing whatever comes next. Oh, she inspires me so, so, so much to just keep pushing through. Even when it feels hard sometimes, like her songs are perfect for that. So thank you for checking out I Use Epilogue. I hope that this is not an epilogue for you. I hope that you will come back. That this is just the beginning. That we're somewhere like in the beginning or in the middle of our journey together. Uh, but I appreciate you guys checking in with me on this song. And I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>